Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm an architect from Hong Kong who likes to go traveling around the world and visit new architectural projects in different cities. This is a long-awaited European trip for me since the lift of travel ban and London made my last three days of the trip. I've been there several times already, yet there are definitely some new projects that are worthwhile to see. First of all, I've been to the Battersea Power Station. This revitalization project is done by the London headquarters of my previous firm. The development has successfully converted the old abandoned power station into a complex of shopping centres, offices and a popular cultural destination among the Londoners. The power station welcomed me with a rare sunny day with gentle breeze. When I walked past the main gate, I immediately felt astonished with the spaciousness of the building, with all the shops lying alongside with lots of commercial activities going on. Seems like it's a rediscovery journey for me to appreciate the work of my former office. This building is ideal to represent one of the signature projects of the office. It's simplistic and monolithic, yet every detail has been well sorted out. Another moment I really enjoyed is the streamlined grand staircase outside the south gate, which kind of softened the industrial feeling of the Battersea Power Station and the choice of light beige stone complements to the brick facade of the building. My next and the last agenda was visiting the new Elizabeth Line and its underground station. I really appreciate the futuristic design with simple palette, with streamlined tunnel profile that have functional purpose to widen the sight line at the corner as a result of avoiding people bumping into each other. Unlike the notoriously dated station, it was huge and spacious, and I really loved the color contrast between the black finished platform screen doors with the white tubular wall and ceiling. The new Paddington station for Elizabeth Line is also amazing. A giant brick wall with warm beige color reflects the same tone used in the adjacent renowned 19th century station. When you stand on the escalator, you are covered by a large span transparency canopy where the concourse is well lit by the natural lights. You can also easily spot out the very eye-catching circular recessed ceiling when you are approaching to the platform. These ceilings were made by unique concrete panels. There is a modernist motive but yet complement with the overall futuristic and high-tech feel. In contrast to the station design in Hong Kong, which strictly followed the one station, one color scheme concept and the use of the mosaic tiles, I hope MTR could ingest some more new and innovative design ideas on the next generation stations. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.